Hello, it's that time of year now where summer turns into autumn. We've started to harvest the vegetables, we've got some raised beds empty, we've got some pots empty, we've got some bags empty, and we've got lots of compost. Now you may not have known it's pH when you sow vegetables, and you may have had the right pH, and you may have had the wrong pH. And if you want to know the right pH, the best thing to do is Google it. You'll find a chart somewhere on a website that you can print off, and then you'll know the best pH for the vegetables you're growing. Okay, um, and once you know the pH, the best pH for the vegetables you're growing, you really need to check the pH of the compost and soil that you're growing in. And for that you'll need a pH meter. Um, I did a couple of videos last year and I modified my pH in the raised beds using garden line uh, and I raised the pH. It was slightly acidic uh, but the garden line helped me to raise the pH um, and I'll go out and check it again um, later this year before I put the beds to bed so to speak before we overwinter them and if they need more lime added, I'll add more lime. If they become more acidic, they will need more lime. Uh, but we'll only know that by testing it. So I want to show you this. This is my pH meter. And this is the box it came in. Okay. This meter performs four functions. It's um, start position is always pH neutral, it's 7. So when we switch this meter on, um, it records a pH of 7 immediately. And then when we insert the probe into the soil of the compost, um, that level will go up or down depending on uh, what's in the pot, in the bag or in the raised bed. Now let me show you this. And I hope you don't think I'm being swanky here. Yeah? I've actually got two of these guys and the reason I've got two is the first one I got uh, when I tried it out um, the light meter didn't work and so when I was in the greenhouse and it should have registered uh, a level of for bright sunshine it was registering a level that said it was dull and I couldn't believe it so when I went outdoors into the bright sunshine it was still saying that it was dull um, and so before I posted a comment I thought I'd let them know that one of the functions wasn't working and so I dropped an email to their uh, technical department or technical support department and lo and behold they sent me another one completely free <laughs> so now I've got two soil meters uh, and both of them work perfectly well when checking the pH of the soil or compost I'm using Okay, now what I found last year was that um, when I checked the, the pH outdoors um, that these can be difficult to see because they've got an LED uh, screen uh, particularly on sunny days and even more difficult to video um, so I thought well look, why don't we just take some soil from the raised bed put it in a pot bring it indoors, test it indoors, and hopefully you can see these things working better. So that's what I've done. Okay, so I'll just put these to one side. And this is the compost from the raised bed. Okay, hope you can see that. I've just filled this 10 inch pot with, with compost from the raised bed. Um, so this should be reasonably representative. Um, what I will do is, I'll go around the raised bed and, and check the pH level at, at lots of different locations in the raised bed um, and then make an adjustment accordingly if I need to. But, but just to show you, just to demonstrate these meters to you, this, this should do fine. Okay, 
think you can see the length of this probe, it's going to go down nearly to the bottom of this pot. Okay. So we'll switch these guys on. That one's on and that one's on. And the reason I'm using two is that um, if these guys work then you should get a very similar reading on the pair of them because they're going roughly in the same location in this compost. They're only going to be inches apart. Uh, Anyway, let me pop them in and let me see what we get. Are they on 7? Let me just check. Yeah, they're both recording a pH of 7 now. Okay, I'm looking at this on camera now and it's, it's a bit too difficult for me to see. I can't tell if you can see what I can see. But they're both actually reading a pH of 5 now, which is quite acidic. Uh, and this compost will need modified with lime. Uh, the raised bed will need modified. And I will do that um, later on in the year. There's one or two things still in the bed that I want out first. Uh, and then I will modify that. Um, I'm going to try and give you a better shot of this. I'm going to zoom in on this. And hope that you can see it better. Okay, I'm just about to insert these probes into the compost. Hope you're getting this. Okay. Well, we're getting a pH of about 5, which is acidic, um, and it needs modified, it needs modified with lime. Okay, so now we know where we are, now we know what to do. So we'll be liming the beds later on this year, um, but not just at the moment because I still have some things growing uh, in the beds. I'd really like them to be empty before I do that. Um, but yeah, this is worth doing, isn't it? This is worth doing. Just looking at that um, compost in there, that soil, there's no indication that it's acidic, none whatsoever. But these guys are telling me it is. These guys are telling me what I need to do. What I need to do is add some lime to this. Uh, those beds need top dressed, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this is Ungrown Veg, signing out.